me, since I'm not a hunter, I can't, you know, say that, you know, I love hunting and I can't say that I hate hunting because I never tried it in my life. But what I do, what I do see in the situation is that from one of the anchors, I think from Fox or not from Fox, but one of the mainstream media, they said that killing an animal like a lion is like killing a human being. Well, one thing is that all these different, you know, newscast outlets are speaking about the line, but they're not really putting a big giant focus on what has ha been happening for the past couple of months, not just with just Planned Parenthood, but also the deal with Iran. Uh, the deal with Iran is pretty shocking. Uh, we could have bargained the, the citizens of the United States who are right now in prison in Iran, so we can uh, bring them back home, but the government decided not to, not to, you know, make that bargain. I don't know why. But that's all I know. Now, <clears throat> I know for some people who believe that lions are definitely uh, an endangered species and we need to do the best we can so we can help, help them, you know, not die out. I totally understand that. But I also know that people who that do hunt, wealthy people that hunt, uh, do invest in different uh, animal preservations. And they give a lot of money to these different organizations so they can keep, you know, the animal alive, the species of that of that animal alive, so they can continue hunting. And because if there's nothing to hunt, then basically there goes their hobby <laughs> or their livelihood. Now they've been asking the citizens of Zimbabwe, what do they think about the situation? What do they believe that the uh, the government should do? The Zimbabwe government should do? And a lot of people in Zimbabwe are perplexed because they can't understand why the international community is making a big giant deal about a deadline uh, that only eats, sleeps, and mates. That's what it does. That's what lions do. That's what most animals do. And I'm not trying to be a jerk, please. Just let me let me speak. Why they're so perplexed is because in Zimbabwe they're having a big giant issue with unemployment. I think it's at 80 uh, percent. A labor force that's uneducated. Uh, what was it? Uh, the economy is sluggish in Zimbabwe. It is, you know, one of the poorest countries in the world. And uh, and and the people are like, okay, we have a giant population of youth that you know, need to get education, the country needs to move forward, uh, we have, you know, all these different problems in our uh, society, and the entire international community is coming to the help of this line. Uh, and they're perplexed, they're like, out of all the things that you choose, you choose this line. <clears throat> and the same thing with me, I, I, I'm perplexed because you know, lions, even though, even though, wait, hold up, hey, what's that tongue? Even though, uh, even though uh, they've been uh, hunted for, you know, close to extinction, there's different organizations out there that are doing the best they can to preserve them. And they're thriving where they're at. They really are. Um, I've, uh, I, I can't say the exact number, but compared from the 80s to now, they've been in growing steadily, little by little, the, the lions around Africa have been growing, the, the, the groups. So <clears throat> that's a plus. Now, this dentist has come out uh, and has actually apologized. He has, he, he has apologized of what he's done, but he also says that he did not know that that lion was being you know, preserved or was in, uh, was actually a lion that an organization there from Zimbabwe was taking care of him. <clears throat> the poacher has actually come out too, the Zimbabwe poacher who was paid to help hunt the lion and say, and he has told the, the media says, hey, it wasn't the dentist's fault because I'm the one who's actually was paid to help him hunt. And not just that, but I'm the one who led the lion out of its captivity or out of the property that he was, you know, being protected. So, and I think the dentist paid, I think, what was it, $50,000? That's pretty heavy price to go hunt. 
he paid uh, the poacher fifty thousand dollars, and he was trying to do it legally. You know, even the dentist guy that says, "Hey, I was trying to do this legally. I wasn't, you know, trying to do it, you know, the wrong way. Uh, you know, I filled up paperwork. I spoke to the Zimbabwe that was, uh, you know, guiding me, uh, and and you know, this is what what has happened. You know, and, he, and he's trying to do his best he can to." to fix the situation. I think the government in Zimbabwe is asking them to to go uh, to go back to Zimbabwe Zimbabwe and face trial. I don't know if the dentist guy is going to do it or not, but you know, there's you know justice that's being served as you can say. Now, if he did it knowingly that, you know, that Cecil the line was being, you know, tracked down by the Zimbabwe, you know, organization and he still killed him, then of course he has to pay for that. But if he did it unknowingly, then I mean, hey, you know, he, he was he was in the dark just like, you know, the rest of us were in the dark. You know, believe it or not, a lot of people didn't know about Cecil until he died. You know. Nobody really was in the room saying, Oh man, Cecil, oh, that line from Zimbabwe. I mean now, those those of you who who basically disagree with me, please leave your comments <clears throat> and be respectful about what you put down there. And also, I think we should, as a society, be paying more attention to what really is going to be affecting us in the near future. And this this, this whole thing with Planned Parenthood and you know babies, unborn children's parts that are being sold, not just to the black market, but to other different organizations that are doing different experiments with the tissue of the unborn children. That to me is way more serious than, than this line. So I truly would want the mainstream media to focus on that and also focus on the, the deal with Iran. Because I saw, um, <clears throat> I saw, what was it, uh, uh, a commercial that had a uh, Morgan Freeman and Jack Black saying that, you know, we need to uh, allow this d deal to go through, you know, diplomacy is the only way. If we don't, then our fris Frisbees are going to be fried up. I mean, f if you look at the paperwork and you look at all the facts, this deal is horrible. It is one of the most horrible deals that any government can do with Iran. Even the countries in the Middle East are shocked that this deal is happening because <clears throat> if Iran gets a nuclear, uh, what was it, warhead, and and I mean, I kid you not, I kid you not, Egypt, Saudi Arabia, Israel, these three different nations that are against each other are agreeing on this issue and saying, hey, you cannot allow Iran to get a nuclear warhead. You can't. If they do, it's it launches a mass armament of, of in the Middle East. I'm, I'm talking about like you're gonna see nations in the Middle East start not just developing, you know, nuclear power so they could get a nuclear warhead on, but they also gonna start buying up a lot of weaponry. You're talking about <clears throat> it's gonna be a giant, giant World War Three in the Middle East. And this is a scary thing because it's going to have a chain reaction. It will have a chain reaction because if you have the entire Middle East at war with one another, I'm talking about like everybody against everybody, it's going to spill out to the entire world because where else does China, Russia, and you know all these different nations get their oil from? It's not from the United States. It's not from Latin America. It's not even from you know Russia. Most of them get their oil from. Saudi Arabia, Iraq, um, and I think uh, also what's other nation? What are the the other middle um, Middle Eastern nations? But that's what I'm trying to say is that <clears throat> the mainstream media has an obligation to the citizens of the United States, and not just to the citizens of the United States, but to the citizens of this world to tell them the truth, because this is the thing that's going to either break us. Or, or drag us into the dark ages, literally, because uh, um, you're, you're speaking, you're speaking to people that are not 
reasonable. You know, with even with the sanctions that Iran was, you know, they had on them the past, you know, decades, you know, they were still sending out and they were still funding terrorist groups. You know, Hezbollah, Hamas, all these different terrorist groups were being funded by the government of Iran. And there, there's facts out there to prove that. But now with all these sanctions that are being lifted up, and this deal that they're able to have not just income coming from the country, of this country to them, but also the inspectors of the UN cannot go to certain military sites in Iran. I mean, come on. That's one of the, that's part of the deal. Believe it or not, that's part of the deal. So this whole thing about Cecil, Cecil the Lion, for those who are animal activists, I understand you. I understand that the animal did not have a weapon of his own other than his fangs and his claws. Totally, I totally understand that. But if you want the rest of the lions around the world to continue living on, then we gotta focus on you know this whole thing about Iran, who is go uh, run by a government. Well, actually, the Ayatollah runs that government, and and you know some of the rhetoric that's coming out of that nation. Do you really think that he's not gonna try to use that to his advantage? That he's gonna be like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, we're not gonna create you know nuclear warheads. We're, we're not gonna go into you know bring the, the entire world into the dark ages. I mean, that's one of the things that. Me as a citizen, well, I, me as a human being, <laughs> I'm thinking about that because it just takes a small little spark to start War Three. It really is, and I'm kind of a little bit, you know, concerned about that because right now we're not in the best situation to go into a war. And um, <clears throat> yeah, that's those are my thoughts of the news around the world and here in the United States. Um, if you guys have anything else that you wish me to speak about, or if not, if you have any input on what I've been speaking uh, about the news, please come and, and subscribe and leave your comments and uh, hit that like button. Thank you so much, guys. You have a great day. Jesus is King. And uh, please be praying for the church in the Middle East. Please be praying for all those people in the Middle East because it looks like it's getting pretty heavy like heavy. So thank you so much guys. See you everybody. Bye.